Hey guys, just want to give a special shout out and thank you to Ubisoft and Rainbow Six Siege for sponsoring this video. Um, very much appreciated. If you want, check out a link in the description with more information on the Battle Pass and the new season, Shadow Legacy. Um, the season, the Shadow Legacy Battle Pass is available from September 10th to October 19th. Um, you can get a, most of, the, like, you know, a lot of the items for free just from playing the game, which is always awesome. Or if you want, you could always access the premium version as well, which I've always thought is a very good value to unlock a bunch of other stuff. Um, click the link in the description, once again, to check out the Battle Pass for yourself. And, um, uh, yeah, we're gonna hop in and check out all the cool pieces of gear. Um, I kind of looked them over really quick, I'm not gonna lie already. Um, but all the way at the end, over here, there's the Universal. This Universal skin looks really cool to me. I don't know, I just, I think it's sweet. Both of these do. So, I do like them. Well, this one's just for Finca's gun, but... They do look pretty sweet. And there's also the weapon attachment skin, so it's still be kind of cool. But um, let's head in. We're going to purchase the... Uh, normally, it's 1,200 rainbow credits. And I think when you are when you have a season pass, it's 30% off. So it's honestly you know, a really good price. Uh, you know, Generally speaking, because you end up getting a lot of rainbow credits back through the battle pass as well. I mean, let's see how many you get. You get 20 here. 240, 360... 80, 80, uh, 100, get 600 back. You get 600 credits back. So you get, say, it costs about 10 bucks US for the battle pass, and you end up getting $5 back. And if you have premium, it costs $7, and you get $5 back. So it ends up costing you two if you have the season pass, five if you don't. So honestly, for, you know, 70 plus items, I mean, you're, I guess you can't inc include the free stuff because you're going to get that anyway from playing. Um, but yeah, pretty sweet for, for this, um, here, because we're actually going to check out all the items. We're actually, I normally just buy the regular pass personally. Um, but if you don't have time, it's always nice. You could buy all of the tiers. So this is what it looks like when you, uh, head over, you buy all the tiers. Uh, I guess let's just go all the way to the end, I suppose. All right. How much does this cost? Oh, not too bad. If you don't have the time to play, you could always do go this route. Um, although it's like it's it's really not hard, honestly, in my opinion. I've normally got the battle pass on both accounts every single season, and I get both accounts really easily leveled up. So, but if you don't have the time, there is always the option of unlocking everything. So, uh, the Ace bundle obviously looks really cool. Um, there's uh, renown boosters. Um, you know, obviously your alpha packs. And remember, this is all for, you know, if, as long as you're going to buy the basic one and complete it, this is like 2 or $5, so just an absolute steal, in my opinion, for like the amount of skins that you get. Um, and a lot of them look really cool as well, too. So I actually don't have a good a good skin for Jackal C70. I'm probably going to rock that on his gun, honestly. Probably will. The old lesion shotgun. I like how they've been doing this like tech, more like textured thing on a lot of the guns lately, which is cool. Um, oh, they put like the splinter saw goggles on knock. So yeah, lots of pretty cool skins here. Um, I'm just kind of like going over a few of them here and there that like look interesting to me. I like gun skins more personally. Um, obviously I use like my own charm for stuff and uniforms you can't see as clearly. So the biggest thing for me are like guns, gun skins and gun, and, uh, gun skin attachments as well. Like those are, those are huge for me. So like having, having this kind of stuff is really cool. A lot of these look like some very nice skins, but yeah, um, just a big shout out and thank you again to Ubisoft and Rainbow Six for sponsoring the video. If you want to get the battle pass, um, and just check out Siege and Shadow Legacy in general, head to the description. There's a link. Very, very, very much appreciate Ubisoft uh, for uh, for doing this. And yeah, I mean, I've said it since the first Battle Pass came out. I've always thought the Battle Pass is an excellent value for 2 or $5, whether you have the Season Pass or don't. You get a bunch of skins that are generally nice. You get Alpha Packs. You get Renown Boosters. It's it's always definitely a good, a good buy in my decision. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so we're gonna go over uh, that completely universal skin that I was talking about, which is on the gun, and it actually goes on the gun sights as well. So it's a universal gun skin, plus a universal skin for the sights as well. So we'll take zero for this. Um, yeah, so we'll take the 2X again. There's obviously like the different sights and stuff available as well, the 1.5. Actually, you know what, let's do the 1.5. And there's the new red dot as well, which I actually love. I almost actually forgot about that. This hollow, like I said, has been growing on me quite a bit lately. 
Um, I think the the 2X is, like, the absolute sweet spot, though. It feels very nice. I feel like I still get, like, the magnification I need, but I also don't get that, like, ACOG, like, tunnel vision, I guess, that you kind of get all the time. So it fulfills, like, a, a kind of, like, a different role. And I feel like it's a really nice sweet spot, but this is what this skin looks like, the universal of the sight. Um, so, yeah, obviously being a different color. I have a vertical grip on this. I should have an angled, but, uh, yeah. Still a good gun. Obviously, this gun, this gun's pretty, pretty good. It's, uh, really similar to an AK-12. Um, I guess stats-wise. It's the, actually the exact same stats as the AK-12. Um, it feels like it has a bit less recoil, but the trade-off is you get five less bullets. So, you know. Obviously, Zero is his, uh, his ability where, you know, you can take your, your gadget, shoot it on a wall, um, check out where the enemy is. And the biggest thing is obviously not just shooting in a room like that randomly, um, but it's more of like, say, there's somebody on the other side of this, uh, on this wall, or this door. I'll shoot two of them, actually, over here. And as you can see, you can see through the other side of the reinforcement, Oh, sorry, the reinforcement here, rather, and the wall here. And you can actually also flip the cameras to look the other way, and there I am over there. And you can do that with either of the ones, the one in the barricade, or then the reinforcement as well, too, which is pretty sweet. Oh. We're gonna have to... Uh, our cam I think you can retrieve them. I don't know why I thought you could retrieve them. Going crazy. But yeah, I've been enjoying the test server so far. Um, since I've been playing, um, once you're watching this, it shouldn't be, the live build should actually be out, so this will be the, the battle pass and stuff will be out, um, with these skins, once again, so you can, uh, get access to it by checking in the description, and, uh, yeah, I mean, also kind of a small thing, and notice Sam has a karambit. Oh, cool. But yeah, I'm a big fan of the skin. Oh, and I'll show you the, the headgear, too, which, uh... There's the, uh, of course, I drop shot at this guy. But the headgear, you can see it, is actually really sick. It's, so it's Sam's Splinter Cell headgear. So for anyone who's ever played Splinter Cell, this is obviously Sam Zero Fisher from Splinter Cell. And that's the actual, like, three-piece goggle headgear, uh, night vision goggles. And that's why it's his logo is like that as well. All right, so we're just going to load into a terrorist hunt um, right here. I just wanted to show you guys, like, this... Uh, this skin, my my personal favorite one was on Jackal over here. Um, so that's what it looks like. So I have the universal attachment skins and stuff on Jackal. Uh, well, the universal skin, sorry, on the shotgun and the attachment skins. And then for Jackal himself, I have on the C70 that one, uh, that like green skin. I actually haven't had a really nice skin for Jackal in quite a while. I felt like, like something I really liked, but uh, I personally like the look of this a lot. So it's uh it's pretty sweet. I'm definitely a fan. Oh yeah. This is one of the skins too, once again in the battle pass, which you can check the description out for and stuff like that for some more info on it and check it out. Free version of the battle pass, the paid one. Um yeah. This guy is the... Oh yeah, oh also too. I'm wearing the uh, the uniform from the Battle Pass as well, too, at the end of this, so you'll be able to see that, which should be pretty cool. So here it is. You got, like, the Splinter Cell goggles on. Kind of. Sam's are, like, the three-piece one, but it's, like, still pretty close, which is cool. One, one two, three twenty-nines. Am I dead? I'm dead. No, I'm alive. Pretty much alive. Dude, I love that 2X site. That 2X site is like the best. I actually love that thing. I love this 2X site. I feel like it's like this like perfect level of like it's not zoomed in too much, but it's also like it's not zoomed in too much, but it's also like, I don't know. It also has like enough magnification where you can like spawn peek and shit or all right, I know everyone's gonna ask for it, so let's open these 20 alpha packs as well. Why not? They were from the battle pass, so this is uh, 20 battle pass alpha packs worth uh, being opened right now, so check them out. Yeah, 
some of them will be guaranteed legendaries too, which is like a nice part about the battle pass as well. Ooh, Pedro. That's actually one of my, like, I used to have that on almost all my guns, like, a really long time ago. In the early years of Siege. I think I've gotten this gun on, like, all my accounts now. Anything really good. What's nice is you don't get any commons because they're all uh, rare, rare or above, so rare epic or legendaries. It's the, they tell you which ones, they actually define them in the battle pass, like which ones they are. So it's kind of nice. A good chunk of them are in the free battle pass as well. Um, yeah. Some bad 20 pack out back opening. I actually love this skin. I, I use this on all of my uh, 1911s in the game. Pickety. I've actually ever seen that skin. Sure, it's probably out there somewhere, but yeah. Little 20 alpha pack opening uh, because hey why not right hey guys thank you very much for watching the video once again um if you uh enjoyed the video remember uh the new shadow Leg legacy battle pass is available from september 10th to october 19th you can get free gear obviously all these items up top just for kind of playing the game and stuff um and yeah check out the link in the description uh to check out the battle pass for yourself and uh obviously yeah there's a lot of cool gear um, when I was scrolling through and stuff, I really liked this, like, uh, Jackal C7E skin. The more I look at it, I think this is my new Jackal skin, honestly, because I don't have a, I don't really have a lot of good skins for Jackal, and it looks pretty sweet. So, um, yeah, thank you guys just very, 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 very much for watching. Um, and once again, thank you to Ubisoft for Nervous Succeed for sponsoring the video. Get the battle pass today, check the description, grab it there, and, uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching, once again.